What's up guys today you are come you are welcome to my YouTube channel. So many YouTube creators are focusing on search to try to grow their channels. But what we have found is that when you hit exclusive growth on your channel, it does not really come from search. It almost always comes from suggested videos and the home page. And today I want to give you guys a plan, a strategy that you can implement on your channel in order to just dominate those suggested views and grow up your channel. Hey guys, you are welcome to Ebenti Entertainment. I am all about helping you guys grow your YouTube audience, get more views, more subscribers, make more money so that you can reach more people and change their lives with the message that you are spreading. So thank you for letting me be a small part of that with you here today. If you are a smart YouTube creator, then targeting suggested traffic and homepage traffic and things like that should be a part should be part of your strategy for growing your channel but most creators hopefully not like you are making some pretty big mistakes when it comes to how they do that most of the time creators mistakenly believe that ranking and suggested and home page and other places like like that around youtube are based on metadata keywords tags so they will do things like if they want their video to rank next to PewDiePie, then they will add PewDiePie, then then they add PewDiePie to the tag to their video, or sometimes they will look at a video that is performing well, then they will just copy all their tags and paste that to their videos, thinking that the tags must be what what is making the video perform well right is not sometimes a creator will look at the title of the video that is performing very well on youtube and they will think oh i just need to use that title in my video so they just copy it or, or maybe change one or two things that having that having a very similar title would mean they will either get position next to that video as a suggested video or their video will perform just same as that other video is let me share with you how it actually works and then a few things that you can do to increase the likelihood that your video will be suggested by youtube first of all youtube suggests videos because they believe that the next videos that they are suggesting for the viewer is likely the next video that they will want to watch because they watched this previous video. What YouTube is trying to do is increase the viewing section to be, be as long as possible. YouTube will track that information and start learning from that. For example, if we suggest video A, people stay on YouTube for an extra 30 minutes, but if we put video B, in front of them they stay on youtube for only extra five minutes so video b will probably not become nearly as suggested as video b as video a so one practical takeaway here is that if your videos are always trying to end the viewing section by getting people over to your website to buy your course or download your team for your business or follow you on instagram or whatever that video just might not perform very well on YouTube because if it is effectively ending the viewing session then it's probably not going to be suggested that great in the future. One of the best ways that I have learned to kind of predict and track this on a video is to look at the metric in your YouTube analytics called end screen element shown and that is helpful material because it shows you it shows you what percentage of the people who play go to the end of the disc of the video and then the next matrix we will look at is end screen element creep the click through rate on the end screen element and that is important because now that indicates how many people not only got to the end of the video but now what percentage of those people keep watching more and extending the viewing section what is great about that is we are now controlling what video they click to watch next 
The more people we get to the end of our video and the more of them click to watch another one on our channel. That next video is more likely now to become suggested to the first video because YouTube starts learning. So if we suggest so if we suggest this video, they get to the end. This percentage of the people who want to click and watch this next video. But here is the bonus trick. When they get to the end of your video, don't just give them another video to click on or watch. Instead, give them a short of playlist. And if you get them to do a playlist, these are amazing, powerful tools that are underutilized. Think of think of it not as the primary goal here is is to organize content. Like put all your videos about this topic into a category. It's not about that. The playlist. The goal should be to get viewers to watch one another or watch another video and another video and another video again right so now you can actually start crafting the viewing section and guess what when people get into a playlist and you start seeing your data more and more people make it through that playlist those videos are so those videos you also see are more likely to become suggested to each other even for viewers who are in the playlist now i already know that the most likely question comment that you guys are going to ask below this video is i get this percentage is that good or bad let me give you a number i will shoot for if i were you i will focus on getting 50 percent of the people who click play on on my videos to the end of of, of my video I don't mean 50% average retention overall. I mean half the people who click pray are getting to the end. That is really, really hard. I like setting the bar high because when you get there, when you get there like, oh my gosh, your channel will just take off. But what if I want my video to be suggested next to that other popular YouTube creators video? For them. You unfortunately have a little less control in this situation, but there is a few things that you can do. I will consider what would be the next naturological video that someone might want to watch after watching that other person's video. For example, maybe you find out that there are a gap in their content, or there is a common question that everybody in the, com in the comment is asking for. One of the ways I have found that I have found that really helps is if you start by calling out that another video in the video that you are making is not absolute, absolutely necessary. It doesn't always work, but I think the principle there is that when one of the, those viewers from that other video, other video channel comes to your video. They immediately feel like oh my gosh I'm at the right place or they are addressing the exact piece of content that I have the question about people don't want to watch the same video they just watched and got that information now they want the next step what is the next logical question they might ask there are a few other things you need to know in order for all this to really work like how to increase the click-through rate on your titles and thumbnails. You are not going to be suggested if no one is clicking on your video, right? And how do you design your end screen for more like clicks? What is the best place to put those elements where people are most, mostly likely to click? I have done a lot of studies and I will be doing a video about that. So if you are new here, make sure you subscribe to my channel and also give me a like. Give, let me know where you are watching this video from. And I really appreciate that. Thank you, everyone. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.